right, so now it's gonna be the taste test, guys. See how delicious this burrito is, and I'll let you know. Okay, all right. Hey, everybody. My name's Jared. And I'm Jacob. And this is our first video. Uh, it's, it's gonna be something, uh, something special, I believe. Uh, it's gonna be the first one that sets us off for the year of 2020. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you like fish, if you like burritos, I just gave away the video. <laughs> <laughs> just gave away the video. So all right, uh, we're gonna we're gonna teach you how to cook a quick meal to impress your parents, to impress your loved ones. Let's get it started, yeah, man. All right, let's get it started. Okay, so first, to make a really good uh, beer batter burrito, uh, you want to start with your condiments. So. If, if you have a good pico de gallo, a good salsa base, your fish is going to be great. So let's start with the, with the condiments and then we'll move on to this beautiful piece of tilapia that we caught this morning out of uh, Costco. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll, we'll show you how to do that. But let's start with the, with the condiments. We want, we want our, our tomato. This is about three, three or four nice big juicy tomatoes uh, we have a whole uh, red onion and a bushel of cilantro chopped up in this little bowl so we're gonna go ahead and mix these up mix these together now we're gonna go ahead and give them a good toss you want to make sure you toss that salad really good this tomato salad get it all nice and tossed and then, sit around, make sure it's all evenly distributed. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get these beautiful limes that we picked out straight from the superstore. <laughs> and, uh, and we're gonna make sure that we mix them in with our pico de gallo. This is gonna set the flavor for your whole burrito so you might you want to make sure that you chop the tomatoes as as small as possible the onions nice and uniform and the cilantro you don't want to make uh, leave any big pieces of leaves uh, in your, your pico de gallo so the next step would be to grab some limes here and this is about 10 limes we're not going to use all of them we're going to use about half of them. We're going to use about five lines. About a half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure you sprinkle it nice and evenly. About a half a teaspoon. And then we get our cracked pepper. And just a light sprinkling of pepper right in there. And then we give it a nice little mix. So the goal of uh, of this whole process here is to make sure that we get the lime distributed evenly so that um, you get that nice tangy flavor you get almost almost like a like a pickled flavor I'm gonna let these sit for a little while right there go ahead and cover them up for a little bit so next we're gonna mix up all of our dry ingredients for our uh, fish tacos our beer battered fish tacos so right here we have an array of ingredients we have our cayenne our paprika we have our lemon pepper we have uh, garlic salt and Italian seasoning then we have our two uh, uh, very important rare exotic beers here <laughs> We have about six cups of um, all-purpose flour. So first thing you do is you mix all the dry ingredients, right? You put in your flour. And then you add your paprika, your cayenne, garlic salt your lemon pepper and so 
paprika, cayenne, lemon pepper, it's all one tablespoon. Garlic salt is two tablespoons. Then you take a pinch of Italian seasoning. And you just sprinkle a little, sprinkle it all over. Just for a little bit of texture and, and some good fragrance. So then we mix it up thoroughly. Make sure all these ingredients are mixed up. So that's all nice and mixed in. We add our beers. Start slowly mixing in all the ingredients onto your beer batter. And we add the two cups of milk to the to the mixture. And this is just to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> rich flavor to the to the batter. Make sure that we mix it in nice and thoroughly. Well, our batter is a little harder to mix than I thought, so we're going to go ahead and use some help. So our handy dandy mixer. Get it nice and mixed up. So this is a consistency of about, of a, say like a pancake batter. So you want it a little bit runnier than this, you can do one of two things. You can add more beer, or you can add uh, a little bit of more milk. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of milk, just to make it a little softer so we can dredge our fish a little bit better. And about a cup should do it. A cup of milk right there. So that's, with this one cup, that's three cups of milk that we've added to it. I had some uh, organic flour. Um, I'm a little less processed than your regular flour. And proved to be a little tougher to mix in all the ingredients. Um, that's the consistency you want, about that consistency right there. Um, you're, you're good to start dredging your your fish and battering them up so that they're good. Alright guys, so now we're going to start the deep frying process. Um, this, uh, we have oil here in this in this pot if you want to come and show them. Um, now this is about 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, a good way to test if the oil is ready is you put the chops, uh, wooden chopstick inside and see how it starts to like bubble around it. Like that. That means the oil is ready to use. Uh, grab a piece of fish. Uh, preferably with tongs or you know whatever utensils you want to use and just put it right in the batter like so make sure you get a good amount on both sides like that all right and then what you want to do once you have a healthy amount oh I want to go ahead and transfer this over like so. All right. All right, and then we'll. <clears throat> we'll get back to you whenever this is done deep frying and when we put the other ones in. Um, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so a little bit of a, of a tip is if you're going to cook a couple of fillets at the same time, make sure that every once in a while you go in there and you stir them around so that they don't stick together. See right there where the tip of the tongue is? They were sticking together so you don't have coverage right there anymore. Every once in a while, flip them around, make sure that they're not together. Well, what we're looking for here is that nice golden brown color. Um, these fillets have been cooking for about a minute and a half to probably a little closer to two minutes um, and they're about ready to, to come out. I'm gonna give it another another minute. The oil is nice and hot and like I said uh, fish doesn't take too long to cook. Sometimes when they brown up this this quickly 
you might you might want to you know just eyeball it and take them out beautiful Ooh. golden color you got right there that's what you want to see ladies and gents oh yeah oh yeah all right guys so now we've uh we finished um frying our, our fish deep frying our fish and as you can see um we've only we only purchased about three pounds of fish that's how much we fried this the batter that we made is probably enough to cook around 10 pounds 10 to 12 pounds of fish uh which feeds a lot of people all right guys so we're gonna start warming up our tortillas um i know this this is cheating this is uh store-bought store-bought tortillas maybe in our next video we'll show you how to make uh homemade tortillas that goes that, that go perfectly with these burritos but uh just for the sake of uh, making a good burrito right now, we're going to go ahead and warm up some tortillas. Make sure that uh, they're warmed up nice and even. Um, and then uh, we're going to show you how to prepare these awesome burritos. Okay guys, now that the tortillas are nice and warm, we're going to show you how to uh, prepare a proper burrito. So the first thing you want to do is you grab yourself a nice large plate. Put your tortilla on there. Spread it out nice and well. First thing you, that goes on the burrito is some refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go the beans. Make sure that they're on the tortilla. Some refried beans. All right, now that you spread your beans onto your tortillas, make sure you take some of your fish fillet, lay it on there, see how nice and white that meat is, nice and cooked thoroughly, the skin is nice and crunchy. Man, I'm getting hungry just talking about this, guys. This is gonna be a great burrito. Get your previously prepared pico de gallo. Make sure that it's nice and juicy, see that? It's going to be extra flavor onto your burrito. Be pretty generous with it. There it goes. And then you grab a little bit of cabbage, sprinkle it on top. And you get your fancy tartar sauce. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Right there. And then you cannot forget, a little bit of heat, tapatio. Now usually we add some peppers onto the pico de gallo, but for these burritos, believe me, you're not going to want to have anything else but this. A little bit of tapatio, sprinkle it around, and then make sure you roll up your burrito, taper the edges, it's going to be a fatty, taper it again. If it's not a fatty, I don't want it. And then, voila. Damn. There's your burrito. Side of lemon. Alright, so now it's going to be the taste test, guys. See how delicious this burrito is. And I'll let you know. It's so good. <laughs> no, dude. This burrito. Dude, I bet. Oh my god. That looks amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Grab some beans. Can't forget the beans with queso. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. And then <clears throat> some fish. And what I did was cut that in half so I can just run it. Down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
gonna be another oh, fat burrito. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's oh, yeah. a thick boy. <laughs> All right. And then grab some pico. A lot right there. <laughs> All right, and then, what is this, cabbage? Cabbage. Cabbage. All right, grab some tapatio. Because why not? Why not, bro? Why not? You gotta have some spice in your life, you know? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Pika <laughs> yuya. Some tartar sauce. Shoot. Homemade. Watch this, ready? <laughs> okay. Homemade, watch. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Let's have a stun, right. boy. Yeah. Let me see that. Let me see that. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's Oh, wet. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Well. She's too thick, so. How good is that, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that was it. That was um, our quick uh, tutorial on making a good fish burrito. And believe me, believe me, it's going to be the greatest fish burrito you've had. Oh, yeah. You don't have to take my word for it. You know exactly how we made it. Go ahead and try it out. If you're, if you're a kid, get your parents' help. Hot oil is very dangerous. Yes, sir. But, uh, you know, these are always good for when you're real hungry um, and, for <laughs> and for eating. Yeah. <laughs> They're really good for eating. I so, mean, that's what I ate it for. That's why I ate it. Dude, I, I, used, I was going to want to eat it. I used to just, you know, slap them on my face, but then I found out they are for eating. So they're for eating, man. Really? They're really good. Right? So anyway, that's it for, uh, for us. Remember, uh, if you like the video, click uh, like and subscribe and uh, hit that little bell as a reminder. We'll be posting these videos pretty often. This is the first of many, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first of many. So uh, we're here to show you how to cook and how to have fun at the same time. Yeah, and let us know what you want to see in the future. Put it in the comments below. I mean, it can be anything, right? Anything. 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 We can show you anything. Anything. We can show you the world. The world. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Thank you.